Um, hi guys, it's day 36 today. Um, and today I think I want to do almost like an addendum video to yesterday's video. I feel like I need to kind of talk about that a bit more than I, I did yesterday. Um, it was a tough video to make yesterday, actually, and looking back on it, um, it made me very emotional. Um, <clears throat> and I just wanted to kind of talk a bit about my post video experience from yesterday. So I posted my video online um, quite late. And from the minute I posted it, I was immediately feeling guilty about posting it. And don't get me wrong, I don't regret anything that I said in my video yesterday, and I stand by everything that I said. It was the truth, it was my honest opinion about how I feel about everything that I spoke about. And I'll, I won't go back on that. <clears throat> but at the same time, it didn't make me feel very good to, to kind of say those things. And it led to kind of, I went to bed, um, and I've spoken before about rumination cycles and not sleeping, and that's what happened yesterday. So last night I kind of went for a whole period, like I think I got maybe two or three hours sleep if I'm if I was lucky, and it was horrible. It was like fitful. It was really tossing and turning, and um, <clears throat> I just kept going over and over in my head, you know, imagined kind of fallout. And there hasn't been any, you know, as far as I know. Nobody's kind of said anything bad to me about that video yesterday. I guess maybe part of me was expecting some kind of backlash. Um, but I didn't, I haven't had any. And that ties into the whole guilt complex thing again. So I went to bed feeling guilty for posting a video about my honest feelings on things. And yeah, it was, it's horrible. And I just want to reiterate what a horrible thing guilt can be. It's, you know, it can eat you up inside. And that's what it's been doing to me all day and all last night. And it's made me kind of feel really low and horrible. And, you know, it's all imagined at the moment as well. I haven't had any feedback from anybody in my family, which I thought I might have done. I haven't had any feedback at all from them. Um, and I think part of me maybe thought that I'd pushed things too far and maybe I'd offended them in some way and that was just going through my mind last night that you know I didn't want to upset people but I think I might have upset people and just the guilt was building and building and building and building and building and I can look at it logically of course I can but you know, this brings me to another point, actually. There's um, there's a really interesting book called The Chimp Paradox. I'm not sure who wrote it now. I haven't got the details with me. But what I'll do is, like I do when I mention books, I'll put a link to it below in the description of the, in the video. Um, yeah, so it's called The Chimp Paradox, and it's basically... It, it's kind of like this simplified version of the human brain and the human mind and how it works and... The person who wrote it basically splits the human mind in two and says, we've got like a computer brain, which is all about logical thinking and, you know, basing opinions on facts and what you can prove. And then you've got the emotional brain, which is comprised of like the mammalian brain and the lizard brain. And they deal primarily with um, emotional kind of triggers and things like that. And generally what's been discovered is and I'm only going by what the book says, um, when you're in a kind of emotional situation, it's your emotional brain that will react quicker than your computer brain. So in any given situation where you feel like an emotional response, whether that's good or bad, normally it's bad, um, your emotional brain or your chimp brain, that's what they refer to it as, you've got a computer brain and a chimp brain, your chimp brain is the one that reacts first because it gets the signal before the computer brain does. So you're already kind of responding to an emotional situation before you've even had a chance to kind of absorb it and come up with a reasonable response because your computer brain hasn't processed the information yet. Your emotional brain's already kicking into gear. 
your computer brain's lagging behind. Which is why, you know, people get emotional and have like severe emotional responses to really quite innocuous situations. And that's where you kind of get panic attacks and anxiety attacks and rumination cycles and, you know, a really kind of heightened startle response or fight or flight response to kind of not very severe situations. And that's because in people who've got, you know, mental health issues like depression or anxiety, their kind of chimp brains are, are in control most of the time. And it's, it's, you're always reacting and pretty much overreacting to everything that's going on around you. It's a really interesting book because, like I say, it simplifies it right down. It's it's a really easy book to read. Um, you know, it makes it seem quite lighthearted, but the subject matter is quite interesting, and it is, you know, I find it quite useful because it does kind of it makes a lot of analogies and, you know, refers to your thought processes in certain ways. It just breaks it down into really easy to understand language for everyone to be able to read it. So, like I say, I'll put it a link to to it below because i'd recommend that you know i'll only ever do that for books i've read and think have been useful so yeah my chimp brain's kind of taken over since yesterday since i posted my video about guilt and it's just kind of telling me that i'm a bad person and that i shouldn't have done it and people aren't going to like me for doing that video yesterday and I should be guilty and I should be ashamed of myself and you know it's hard to fight back against that kind of chimp brain sometimes um, and I'm finding it really hard today um, also Fran wasn't there last night and it's you know we don't often spend time apart um, since we've been together I mean there have been extended periods where I've been hospitalised <laughs> Um, I'm actually going to do a video, I think, about my hospitalisation because I, I mention it a lot in my videos. I've gone back over it and I see that I've mentioned it a lot. But, you know, just saying I was hospitalised doesn't really kind of tell you anything about the experience. And it was really kind of intense experience, you know, both times I was hospitalised. So I feel that that warrants a video just talking about my experience of that, you know, and I will do that at some point. But like I say, Fran wasn't there last night because she was obviously <coughs> visiting family for her uncle's funeral. And yeah, it's, you know, I do take comfort from having Fran around. And I guess I really missed that last night. Um, see, I was just lying there, tossing and turning, condemning myself for being a bad person. And it's kind of bled into today, so I've had quite a rubbish day. Um, pushed myself too hard again and went to see the Avengers. Thought that would cheer me up, and it did. Um, I enjoyed it. <laughs> and I will be doing a review at some point. Um, but yeah, I pushed myself too soon. I think I wasn't ready to go out today. Um, and I'm kind of I'm suffering for it now. Um because of you know what I promised I wouldn't talk about, so I'm not going to talk about it because I've already said I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But yeah, I haven't given myself time to to heal from that. And on top of that, I was very emotional anyway. I'm having a very emotional day. Um, yeah, but Avengers was good. I actually cried, and I don't normally cry. I'm not a crier, generally speaking. Um, but I think it's all just because. Yeah, last night's video kind of took a lot out of me. And like I said, I'm not going to go back on it. Everything I said last night is my honest opinion, my the way I feel about things in my life that have happened. And I stand by that, and I will stand by that. And yeah, just I, I kind of guess... I'll try and just be mindful of the fact that I've already condemned myself for doing it without basing it on any evidence like I say no one's given me any kind of feedback no one's spoken to me no one's kind of approached me 
So it's all imagined at the moment. I'm going through worst case scenarios in my head, which is never a good thing anyway, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there now. I just wanted to do like a kind of part two of the guilt complex and how this is like a real life, real time situation that it's kind of really overpowering me at the moment. You know, these feelings of guilt and remorse and over kind of all imagined scenarios, which none of which have happened. So the mind can be a powerful, dangerous thing. Um, I'm going to leave it there now. Uh, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow, see where I am. Um, I hope you're all doing okay.